with 40% of the world's energy consumed by buildings. Leading firms today are looking for ways to decrease energy consumption while maintaining comfort climate or thermal comfort within. Here we see a small office lobby, two stories, this is an atrium, ceiling mounted diffusers, windows, and people within. And in order to study this comfort climate, we can launch this into CF Design. So bring all of our parts back, launch the model, and here we are in CF Design. We can hide the walls in the air part. We can see that we have an exact representation of the geometry. In this case, we're actually looking at two scenarios. We have a baseline scenario, and then we have a scenario where the architects have changed the design and added a skylight right here <clears throat> to compensate for those effects, uh, especially in the winter. We've added radiant panels on the underside of the second floor. With CF Design, we can look at ISO surfaces, so clouds of constant flow. Here's our baseline design with no skylight. We can see that this light blue represents a 65 degree Fahrenheit ISO surface and it's covering this person down below. And the yellow represents a 74 degree ISO surface. So again, seeing that stratification, cold air low and warm air high, even though we had to add a, had to add a skylight and move the uh, registers or diffusers, we can see that by adding the radiant panels here, this heats the floor up more effectively and removes uh, the penetration of that colder cloud of air. So this person is much more comfortable, as is this person, just based on temperature. But in order to fully understand their thermal comfort, we have predicted mean vote and percent persons dissatisfied. Predicted mean vote uh, runs from minus three to three. Ideally, the, the person will be entirely at zero. And we can see again, now that we're taking into account radiation, humidity, the amount of clothing that a person is wearing, and how active they are, we can get an even more comprehensive uh, understanding of how comfortable they are in the space, rather than just looking at temperatures which frequently don't tell the whole story.